Bob Learn. Goes against Johnny Petraglia, then John Mazza, Parker Bone, and Randy Peterson. All for the title of the flagship City Open. Coming up next on ABC. The following is a special presentation of ABC Sports. in the parking lot but inside of the Erie Civic Center here by Lake Erie itself we're ready for the finals of the flagship open here now are your five finalists our fifth seed is a two-time titleist let's hear it for the pride of Erie Bob Learn Jr. His opponent in match one is a PBA Hall of Famer and Triple Crown winner from New Jersey, Johnny Petraglia. Our third seed is a six-time champion from Shelby Township, Michigan, John Mazza. Bowling in the semifinal is an 11-time title from Jackson, New Jersey, Parker Bone, the third. And our tournament leaders after career win number 12 from Hollywood, Florida, Randy Peterson. Forty three hundred fans are happy to be here, happy to get in Eric Civic Center again for the third year that we've come here to watch the championship contested bowl on the temporary AMF lanes. Chris, a lot of money at stake, 30,000 on top, probably our best field of the season in the first match. Bob Warren, the seventh ranked player in the world today going against the legend Johnny Petraglia. It's going to be a great one. Here we go. Five finalists from a field of 157 and now Bobby Learn, the hometown Babe Ruth, gets the cheers. He will shoot first. Two-time titleist, 15 years, PBA. Just cheering him on, and that's some relief, isn't it, Bo, to strike first you bet, of all? You bet, Chris. And here's a guy who's probably never been an underdog in his life in a championship match, and I see him as the underdog today, the great Johnny Petraglia. Look at that smooth left-handed delivery. One of three lefties in the field at five. Goodness, goodness, 14 titles, triple crown winner, one of four. And next week, of course, it'll be the Tony Petraglia Open at Rutgers, another arena bowling site. So the double puts the pressure on right now. Well, you remember the last time John was on two years ago, he bowled a perfect game in his opening game. So uh, obviously he hasn't forgotten that as he puts a little pressure on Bob Learn Jr. Second frame. Even after two frames in the first match. One thing to watch about Bobby Learn is when he is on balance, Chris, he's just devastating with that strike ball. When he hits the line solid and can keep that body on balance, uh, he's as tough as they come. Learn Jr. from Erie, Pennsylvania. 
Tragley, the experienced player, won his first title in Fort Smith, Arkansas in the late 60s. If he happened to win today, he'd be one of the very few players to win in four decades, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Three in a row, and thank you very much, says John. John, who defeated Bob Learn during match play. Uh, in match play, uh, Johnny had 16 wins, 8 losses. Bob Learn, 12, 11, and 1. But Bob made some comeback last night. Oh, yeah. Learn was inspired. The, the fans, as they are behind him today, uh, really inspired him last night. So far, everybody perfect. The five finalists have bowled a career number of 155 perfect games, our finalists today. Still perfect in Erie, Pennsylvania. Terrific. Johnny Petraglia against Bob Learn will be back. This is a live shot from Erie Civic Center, Erie, Pennsylvania. Third largest city in the Keystone State, 150,000. It's here they have the largest horseshoe plant and more. And their hometown favorite, Bob Learn. Four frames for each bowler. Total of eight strikes, Nelson. Well, we have ideal lane conditions and the greatest players in the world, Chris, with a stellar field today featuring, obviously, Learn and Petragli in the first match, and neither one of them has given way. Petragli with the experience. You see Learn through six rounds, 42 games. He averaged 257 in the first game of each one of those rounds. So this is his first game. This is the game he's very tough in. They're beginning to stand even after five frames by Bob Learn. All strikes. Well, his opponent was involved in the Ted offensive, so I don't think anything is feared by Johnny Petragli. Is John starts with four in a row, Learn with five. Well, John erased that 10 pin deficit right there as he evens up the match, Chris. 49 year old Johnny Petraglia, 33 year old Bob Learn. This is one of the historic matches, Bo. We've done a lot of them. Well, it's who breaks first, Chris. I mean, uh, obviously, Petraglia's proven his medal over the years. Learn ranks seventh in the world today and is the leader in perfect games. Now, I see the line Petraglia's playing. He's playing a little bit different than Learn. John will start here. Drift a little bit into this area, and you'll see his ball swing out around the first arrow, where Learn is playing more around the center. John is halfway there. Johnny Petraglia. And now here's Bob Learn. Head-to-head perfection through six frames. Both Bob Learn, at whom you're looking, and Johnny Petraglia. Bobby Learn leaves nothing in the bag. He no, never throws what we call a, sweet, uh, a weak sister down there. Big wrist action, big turn. Both players perfect through six. Seven, five to go. Let's replay that. Third pin on the left part, part of your screen. The two pin goes, the sideboard kicks the four. The four delayed, tilts in, just tips the nine pin out. The first real great break of the match goes to Bob Learn Jr. He's perfect through seven. Can Petraglia continue to keep up with Learn? The six pin into Johnny String. 
You see the great break, Learn got tripping out the four. Now Petragli has the same type of hit from left hand. A three pin goes to the sideboard, zips around the six, doesn't catch the six. John stuck with an easy spare, but he falls behind in the match. Johnny Petraglia. What a tournament uh, is starting there practically right now. The Johnny Petraglia Open next week on ABC. John with the 3,500 amateurs in the Pro-Am, which will be starting today, going through Sunday and Monday. Qualifying starts Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the disabled veterans, wheelchair bowlers, team play with the pros. Good action. people like Johnny that care. And I'll bet our buddy will be there, won't he? Yeah, Al Utech. You bet. You bet. All right, Bob Learn, he can't consider this match won by any means. Petraglia is still a potential 279. Learn perfect through seven. Count them eight. Four more. What pressure, though. $100,000 bonus, Chris, if he can run off four more strikes. And your hometown fans. What a thrill. Let's see what happens. Stacy sitting in that front row is out of her chair. Could have done the high jump on that one. Bob's wife is alongside Brittany. There she is in the black dress. And there's Brandon. Whew. Don't count Petraglia out. He knows what he has to do. He has to keep striking because if Learn doesn't strike in the 10th, Petraglia will win this game still. Best ball of the day by John right mm -hmm. there. In the ninth, only the six pin in the seventh frame. John taking his time now. John potential 279 if he takes it out here in the 10th would force Bob Horn Jr. to strike on the first ball to win the match despite starting with nine in a row. Mm -hmm. Meticulous John Petraglia. This comes from one of those warm, terrific Eastern families. They always send Easter cards. A lot of things running through Bob Warren Jr.'s mind. He's thinking still about having to win the game. The next goal in front of him would be a perfect game. Let's see. I know his mom and dad are proud of his performance here today. It has been just terrific. Except for that sixth pin in the seventh frame. I won't even say except for. <laughs> This is great stuff, Paul. Doesn't get any better. Petraglia, potential 279. One more strike would force Learn, who's perfect so far, to strike on the first ball. Here we go. So the 49 year older has really applied. Turned the screw. 279. His game is over. Gets a standing ovation. Asks him to. Be seated because he wants Bob Learn to have every opportunity. Learn must strike on this ball to win the match in regulation. Now we need only two more, ladies and gentlemen. $100,000. Eastway Lanes, $100,000. There is Stacy. Well, I got a real good 
great, Chris. Yes, he did. I hit. Got them all. Now he needs one more strike. This is something that no matter uh, how long you practice, you can't practice for this. The 10th frame for 300 is where you separate the pretenders from the real thing. $100,000 on this ball. He has just made his 52nd 300 perfect game, but this by far the most valuable $100,000, ladies and gentlemen. Bob Learn, it's our 10th 300 game on television. The last was by Johnny Petraglia, his opponent, who shot a 279. And Brittany gets a hug. Brandon Ron Columbi in the orange sweater is another uh, Erie, Pennsylvania bowler. 300 to 279. We're going to take a break. Pandemonium here in Erie the Civic Center. We'll be with you after these messages. They move as one with elegance and emotion. They dance across the ice. Torval and Dean compete at the Nutra Sweet World Challenge of Champions next on Wide World. And we're back here at Erie Civic Center. Bob Learn Jr. has just defeated Johnny Petraglia 300 to 279. And with me in Bob Learn is Chris Schenkel. For I don't even know if Chris can hear with this audience. Uh, I need some more volume. Oh, we're on the air. That's good. What do you have to say? Uh, 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 I, can't, I can't believe it. It's just incredible. My hometown, Erie, PA, 300 on TV. What can I say? Great. It's awesome. And everybody in Erie, Pennsylvania, I'm honored to give you a check for $100,000. George Warren and Nancy co-chairperson. You know, the last man that had a 300 on TV was Johnny Petraglio. Well, you know, can I say he's a great competitor. He went up there and he actually bowled just a little bit better game. And, and uh, I was just lucky, caught a few breaks. And uh, can I say, he knows what 100,000 feels like. You have tied the world record, 300 games. Wow, I, mean, I never thought I'd do it like this. Okay. I think somebody's trying to tell me we'll be back. I hope. Fond edition, Saturday at 6.30 on WBAY TV2. The Professional Bowlers Tour on ABC Sports. Brought to you by Kellogg's. With good taste, nutrition, and value, the best you each morning from Kellogg's. McDonald's, have you had your break today? And head and shoulders, because great hair can have flakes. We're back again at uh, Civic Center in Erie, Pennsylvania. Even when Admiral Perry was here, firing his guns off the uh, flagship uh, here. I doubt if we had more excitement, Bo, than we had here, ladies and gentlemen. If you just joined us, 300 by Bob Learn from Erie, Pennsylvania, against Johnny Petraglia, who shot a 279. Well, it's an all-time record. They tied it to Ozio and Albi in Wichita in 93, and it's just fantastic. Here's the last shot for 100,000 bucks. He is made his 300 perfect game. <laughs> All right, we uh, we did an up close and personal on Bob Learn, and during it, and near the end, uh, we even talked about a possible 300 game on television. So, join us now up close and personal with Bob Learn of Erie. For 
Bob Learn, last night's qualifying for the flagship Open Finals here in Erie had special meaning. Being from a city like Erie, uh, it's a great it's a great town to be from if you're a bowler. You get a lot of respect as a as a bowler here. There's a lot of great bowlers around here, and a very knowledgeable area as far as bowling goes. A lifetime resident of this industrial city in northwestern Pennsylvania, Bob's roots in Erie run very deep. Having just moved into a new home, Bob attributes much of his success on the Pro Bowlers Tour to his Erie support structure, which includes his wife, Stacy, son, Brandon, and daughter, Brittany. I really uh, feel family is everything. You know, it really gives you purpose. It gives you a purpose for being here. My children, I mean, that, there's so much joy in having ch children, and I just, just love every minute I can spend with them. And uh, just, just the family is what life's all about. It was a gentle shove from his wife and family that helped his career blossom when he returned from a five-year absence from the tour in 1991. He garnered his first PBA National Tour title in 92, had his second in 1993. He has also finished second on five occasions. These accomplishments notwithstanding, it is his knack for perfection that separates him as a bowler. With 51 career ABC-sanctioned 300 games, he stands one short of the all-time record. Could there be a better venue for tying the record? Of all the 300s I've ever dreamed about, um, I guess the one that I was still still left without is the one on TV. You know, not only just the money part of it, but just to go out there, it'd just be awesome to throw a 300 game on TV, on national TV, on ABC. That would be great. Dreams come true. Match two now, and Bob Learn goes against John Mazza. Well, let's see if uh, Lauren can maintain the energy, Chris. Uh, mm -hmm. Johnny Petraglia, after his 300 in Toledo two years ago, lost his next match to Dale Traver, 193 to 188. Let's see if Lauren has that same kind of letdown. <laughs> <laughs> well, it oh came at a, at, at a good time. One frame earlier cost you 100000 bucks. Well, his first spare of the day. Let's see if he remembers how to shoot him. Well, it's double dribble down, and you got the <laughs> got the ten pin, Bo. Well, you got to go in the right direction. Spares, you just have to touch the pins. The strike ball, you got to have a little power on it. Now, here's a guy that's uh, took joy in the 300, but he's got a job of his own. John Mazza. John opening with a powerful strike. Next Saturday, ABC's Professional Bowlers Tour strikes on the campus of Rutgers University. Arena Bowling, Johnny Petraglia will be on hand at the tournament that bears his name. That's next Saturday at 3, 2 Central and Pacific, right here on ABC Sports. So with a big double, puts the pressure on the 300 game bowler. Bob Learn. Learn with a spare up shooting in the second frame. Bobby Learn's one of the fellows that is pretty equal in every place he bowls. His year-to-date average on the PBA Tour is a 224. His league average is 225, and his career TV average over the years is 225. That's unusual. Usually their league average is 15 to 20 pins higher than their PBA Tour average. Of course, he's raising it a little bit today. Another 10. This is his 13th time on television in his career. Third this year. Finished second twice. The AC Delco Classic, our first telecast of the year, and uh, then again at Peoria. Danny Weissman, the defending champion, finished eighth this week, all be tenth. Son, Columbia 51st. Chris, something we can keep up with the all time record for 
five players on TV was set here last year with a 253 average. They're sure off to a good start with that mm -hmm. Petraglia match. Three in a row as tonight on ABC, a brand new hour of everything you can imagine. Everything that's real funny at 8, 7 central time. Then, a world premiere movie starring Joey Lawrence and his real brothers, Matthew and Andrew. They're the brothers of the frontier on ABC's Saturday Night at the Movies, all tonight. Maza, perfect through three. Now four. Could we have another perfect game, partner? <laughs> Why not? This start of our second game and the flagship open. This ABC Sports presentation of the Professional Bowler Store will continue after these messages and a word from our ABC stations. Over 20 gold medalists take the ice, plus the poignant final public performance of Gordieva and Grinkov. Cotton Incorporated skates at gold three, Sunday on ABC. Civic Center in Erie, Pennsylvania on a crisp, cool afternoon. Hottest of all was Bob Learn, the hometown professional bowler, who in the first game against Johnny Petraglia. There he is, bowled a perfect 300 game worth $100,000. Petraglia with a big 279, missing only a six pin. Now he's against Johnny Mazza. Right lane spare, up. Okay, here's Nelson. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Parker Bone, great first game there, huh? I'll say, boy, those boys are posting some strikes up. <laughs> well, you're the all-time loser in arena finals <laughs> with six losses. Uh, is that something you're going to change today, or you got four straight weeks now? Well, with four weeks in a row in the arena-type atmosphere, I think I'm going to be the winningest arena-type bowler when we get done at the TSC. A great talent, Chris. He's in the next match. We'll see what mm -hmm. happens. Back to you. Keeps looking. Spare strikes spare, and now a double, trailing by 20. But John Massa has a four bagger now shooting in the fifth frame using uh, about two thirds of the approach. Five in a row for John Massa. Maz one of the great practicers on the tour, Chris. I remember back in the 80s when he was just breaking in. He just couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. He kind of threw a fluff ball. Then he started working on opening his hand up, getting more wrist action in the ball. And he did a lot like David Ozio, just kept getting better and better. And so far, he's perfect through five. Uh, seven pen on the left lane. Applause from the crowd as Johnny's in his 17th television appearance six titles and uh, nine regionals we've seen giant Mazza playing and brought the same line as Petraglia maybe a little bit more hook as he's around the second arrow on the left the four pin doesn't quite take out the seven Petri uh, Mazza with perfect shot on the seven and if Warren can strike here he can cut Mazza's lead down to just 19 pins high scoring environment must throw strikes You see Learn snapping out that 10 pin. That's the key that when you know you have the proper angle, but that's the real good wrist action. Watch how Learn sets up with his wrist. Rolls it back almost on his forearm. Tremendous power. There you go. Now he keeps it in that position and just unleashes it at the point of release. You've just watched him bowl his 17th strike of the afternoon. Putting together uh, four, and he now trails by only nine. A 7 10 split is a nightmare, but according to Brian Voss, it can be made. Oh boy. Uh, my trick shot's coming up here. I've just left a 7 10 split. Instead of getting mad, which I do, I'm going to show you an alternative method. Check it out. Oh my gosh! Oh. 
alcohol. It worked. It worked. It really worked. Michelle, Tom, see our new world champions in special performances at the World Figure Skating Championships presented by MasterCard next Saturday night on ABC. Some 4,300 uh, bowling fans have again come to Erie Civic Center, as they have done the past previous two years, to cheer on their heroes in the bowling ranks. One of them is Johnny Mazza going against Bob Learn, who had a 300 in the previous game. Working on a spare, shooting in the seventh frame. Leaving a seven pin, only nine pins separating the two. Doesn't look like you can miss the pocket today as Maz is quickly up on the approach with his spare ball. Real good technique, well practiced, dedicated player here. Solid. So, Bo, uh, did you enjoy seeing the eight 300 perfect game on ABC? Ten total on TV, but we've had eight. Well, Chris, yeah, I did, especially when they get 100,000. We just talked with Maz, with uh, Parker Bone with his six appearances. Mm -hmm. John Mazza making his fifth today. All right, Bob Warren's got to keep it going, Chris. This is the mm -hmm. first time he can have the lead in the match. He trailed by as many as 29, can regain the lead with a strike here in the eighth frame, a potential 270. Big stuff. All right. Five in a row. That's nothing like 12 in a row in the first game. John Mazza, if he takes it off the sheet, would have 268. Learn a possible 270. Six in a row. Nineteen strikes thus far. He's in his second game. Absolutely mandatory that Mazza keeps striking. Hasn't made any mistakes yet. He trails by 12. <laughs> Big time hit there, partner. Mm -hmm. Nice foundation frame. Well, this match is similar to the first match. It's going right down to the 10th frame. It's up for grabs. Maza possible 268 as he's put this first nine balls in the pocket, left a couple of seven pins. Learn had a couple of 10 pins early in the match. And right now, he has a possible 270. Up to the last shots. John hitching up those slacks like a la honor Arnold Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, John at one time was a uh, excellent golfer. Yes. In fact, he was a teenage phenomenon. Uh, he really had his uh, choice between bowling and golf. Obviously, he's taken bowling and been very successful at it. Right now, it's important that he get this second strike in the tenth. They'll put him in the 260s. <laughs> Wonderful performance. Well, Bob Warren's going to be tested again. He'll be need at least two strikes to win this match. Isn't that something? He shoots 300, possible 270, must have all the strikes to win the matches. Tremendous scoring. Okay. Shot. 268 for John. Mazza of Shelby Township, Michigan. And there you see a pretty lady, Leslie Anthony, who has won and they're expecting in June. Okay, must strike twice. Bob Warren to continue on against Parker Bone. If he doesn't strike, it's all over for the day. Seven in a row on this particular game. 
needs this strike mm -hmm. and nine pins to continue on today to go against Parker Bone the third. This is a must strike situation. As wife. There's Stacy. Stacy looks on. Three rack and uh, Bob saw something he didn't like. One of two allowed each game in professional bowling. After that, you just have to shoot what's up. And as you said, Chris, saw something he just didn't like. Let's see what happens here. He needs this strike to win the match and continue on in the flagship open. He's real relaxed, real confident, just must make everything is just right. Needs this strike. Here we go. Look at that. Well, he's not has not gotten less than nine pins on any one shot today, and he needs nine on this to continue on against Parker Byrne the third, a possible 270. Remember, Johnny Mazza has fi finished with a very creditable 268, but it may not be enough. Finishes with nine in a row. Ten strikes in his second game, 12 in his perfect first game. He's on another frequency. Woo! Wins it by two, 270, 268. This week's Winning Never Gets Old bowling tip features spare conversions advice from Gary Dickinson. And now, ABC Sports Professional Bowlers Tour presents another Winning Never Gets Old bowling tip. Brought to you by Comfort Inns and Suites. Gary Dickinson, former U.S. Open champion and two-time PBA Senior Player of the Year. This is how Gary looked some 20 years ago with his strike ball. And Gary, you look just about as good today and you're still bowling well. I'm sure you have a tip for us older players. Well, Bo, I, uh, I, I had a little problem making spares on real dry lanes, so I started taking one finger out, just leaving, uh, taking my ring finger out, leaving the one finger in the ball. And what that does is uh, let the ball go down the lane more like a knuckleball. It goes a lot straighter, and I feel it helps me convert my spares. Great tip from Gary Dickinson, especially if you're having trouble with the right-hand corner spares. You seniors usually don't have enough speed to control that shot. Remember, winning never gets old. This ABC Professional Bowlers Tour winning never gets old bowling tip has been brought to you by Comfort Inns and Suites. There are gut balls and gutter balls. And sometimes the trophy falls. But no matter what, you'll love the bowlers who have it all on ABC Sports Home Video, Bowling the Perfect Game. Call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR to order bowling's colorful history. Narrated by Chris Shankel and Nelson Burton Jr. This collector's home video can be yours to enjoy for only $14.98 plus $3.95 shipping. That's 1-800-4-ABC-VCR. Incomparable scoring here. Flagship Open, Civic Center, Arena Bowling. Bob Learn from Erie. Perfect 300 game, then went on to roll more strikes. He's had a total of 22 this afternoon in two games, and he'll now go against Parker Bone. Well, Chris, we're at the site of the most strikes ever in a championship round, 70 last year. At Eastway Lanes, we had a solid field that tried to qualify for our championship round. 160 players. Look at the 224 average to make the top 24. We had 12 perfect games this week. Weber just missing, kind of breaking out of his slump. The defending champion, Danny Wiseman, had a chance. Doug Kent, 299, 300, back to back. Look at those great names in there this week. Deadeye, one here in 93. From Erie, Erie College, Brian Eaton, a good looking college All American in the top 24. Brock and Ryan Schaefer, 18th. The Buzzsaw, he won the Tribally Open two years ago. He'll be there next week. 
and Mike Miller, who's having just a sensational year. Thumb in, thumb out, doing it all so far this year. Okay, and next week, the big one, Johnny Petraglia Open. It'll move from Lee Livingston's Carler Lanes to the Rutgers Athletic Facility, another arena bowling. Again, arena bowling on the 20th. Bud Light Championships. So all of you in New Jersey, New York, get your tickets and come out and see us at Rutgers for the Johnny Petraglia Open. That is one week from today. Bob Learn continues on. The semifinal. A record well within the grasp of Bob Learn Jr. Win or lose, he needs 246 to break the three-game record set by Jim Stefanich in 1975 of 815 for three. He has five. 10 going to 23rd strike of the afternoon out of a possible 25, though. Mm. I said 510. He has 570. He's averaging 285. <laughs> and Parker Bones makes his presence known. Powerful strike on the right lane. From Jackson, New Jersey, Parker Bone the third. Just an exceptional player. Mm -hmm. I still believe that someday he'll be the all-time leading money winner on the tour. A lot of great players out here. Parker has the youthfulness, the power, the discipline, and the attitude to reach such lofty goals. He's won over a million already. There's a double. In our semifinal match, Parker Bone led from the second round for four rounds, and then Randy Peterson took over last night. Randy Peterson, the tournament leader, who will meet the winner of this game. With strike up Bob Learn, second frame. Watch Learn's footwork. He's solid at the line, so important. There you go. A 10. Learn from the deep inside line, sends it wide. Six pins, second pin on the right part and part of your screen just shows no affection for the 10. Oh my, misses the 10 pin completely. Had that right turn on his mind, he kept with his right hand. Kept well, Chris, he's singing something to the officials, and, and I don't know. He's going over to get a ruling of some type. Uh, I don't know what happened, but we'll see right now. Getting the shot over. He interference some woman. Some interference. Woman right when he was shooting, so I'm giving him the shot over. Johnny Campos, the tournament director. All right, here's the ruling, Chris. It's very simply this. They're going to give him the shot over the 10 pin. Somebody standing down by the 10 pin in front of him jumped up just as he was getting to release the ball. And the PBA rule states that if indeed you have infer interference in front of you, you can request the tournament director to give you another shot. So what they must do now is pull all nine pins down, just leave the 10 pin up, and it's just like a mulligan almost. If he had made it, he didn't have to call interference. Let's see it again. Okay, well, obviously he goes in the channel, but we don't see a person jumping up, and that's where the interference came. Now the interesting part of this ruling, uh, Chris, if he had made the spare, he says nothing. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really a great, great break. It's just his day right now. He still needs to make this to stay 10 pins behind. All right. That's a bittersweet spare, Chris. Sometimes you feel like uh, maybe you got a great break over your opponent that you didn't need. Now, you know, Bob Warren's a very conscientious guy, and he would have never called interference if indeed he truly wasn't interfered with. So uh, let's play by the rules. And right now, Bob Warren trails by 10 pins as a spare working in the second frame. He said he gets two re-racks. That's each game using his first one of this match. Third frame strike for Bob Lerner. If you just joined us, he rolled a perfect 300 game in the opener here against Johnny Petraglia, who shot a 279. For Learn, $100,000. Two years ago, Johnny Petraglia experienced the same thrill.
Three in a row for Parker Bone, the third. Natural talent, exceptional mm -hmm. style, knee bend, footwork. And one of the key things you can watch with Parker here is that the lower you get with your shoulders over your knees, now watch him on this shot, the less you have to squeeze the ball, thereby you get a more effective and consistent roll. Now watch that. Shoulders over your knees, lower knee bend, you don't have to squeeze it, you get more revolutions. 41st TV appearance, winner of 11 titles. Oh, the four pin on the left lane. Goes high, almost has the six eight split with a four pin standing in there. The six pin goes out late. The four pin remains standing. A spare here, and he would lead by 19 through four frames. During the midpoint of our semifinal game, we'll return. It's not your typical day at the beach. Women's Pro Beach Volleyball on ABC. There's our jazz band with Chuck Lute directing these young people who have uh, kept the spirits up, even if they didn't need it here because it's been excitement from the start because of this hometown hero. A perfect 300 game in the first match to Johnny Petraglia's 279. Now he's trailing by 19, can cut it to nine with the strike in the fourth frame against Parker Bone. Despite the high head, a strike bow. Nelson. Uh, uh, thank you, Chris. So uh, I got the tournament leader with me, Randy the Renegade Peterson. Uh, Randy, I think 190 can win any games out here, bud. Better not shoot any spares, Bo. You know, I, you better strike like hell because these guys are throwing a lot of strikes. How about a, a prediction of a score? I mean, you you need a victory. You you really got ripped in the last tournament. You'll have to solid eight to lose to Schlegel. Um, predicted score will be a lot. I mean, there's no telling you. It might take 300 to win. All right, Chris, I really think this man's as sharp as he's ever been before. I predict a Randy Peterson win today. We have another game to watch, though. Here we go. Okay. Taking a one-pin lead was Bob Learn with three in a row. Now with a spare up, here's Parker Bone shooting in the fifth frame. One strike in five frames for Parker. Finish second overall through match play. 13 wins, 11 losses. Learn was 12, 11, and 1. This city celebrated its 200th anniversary last year. Pennsylvania legislature in 1795 said, build a town on the shores of the lake, the Great Lake, and call it Erie, after the Indians who resided here. Back in the lead. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the dance competitions from the Nutra Suite World Challenge of Champions. Plus, we'll have a West Coast warm-up for Churchill Downs at the Santa Anita Derby presented by Visa. That's next here on ABC Sports. Through six frames, only one pin separate the two players, just like the two previous matches. High scoring, but very tight. Bob Learn Jr. Unbelievable afternoon for the native of Erie. Soon after 3 Eastern time, we started with a perfect 300 game by hometown Bob Learn right here against Johnny Petraglia's 279. It really hasn't gone downhill because the next game, Learn defeated uh, John Mazza. 270, 268. We have a good match going here. 11 pins separating the two. He can pull within one. Parker Bone. Oh. 
The scoreboard tells the story, just don't mm -hmm. miss, and it's kind of where you miss. Learn uh, missed in the second frame. He has a potential 280 and a one-pin lead. Parker Bone started with three strikes. Really the only player to miss the pocket today as he missed in the fourth frame going a little high. But he's recovered with three straight strikes and can take a nine-pin lead here in the eighth. Back in Jackson, New Jersey, you knew that Marion Parker, the fourth, and Evan reacted to that shot. Put him back on top by nine, but also with a four bagger up, it's Learn shooting in the eighth. Back in the lead. Tomorrow at 3 Eastern, 2 Central, and Pacific, ABC Sports serves up the Women's Pro Beach Volleyball Tour. We'll go to Florida for the MCI Open, then a skating event like no other. Appearances by over 20 Olympic medalists and the final performance of Gordieva and Greenkoff. Yes, it's the Cotton Incorporated Skates of Gold Number 3. That's tomorrow here on ABC Sports. Ninth frame, Bob Learn. He knows he got a great break there. He's tripped the four a few times. His power is undeniable when he hits light, but when Bob Learn can trip the four out, I mean, he's got a wry smile on his face. It's all going his way. Watch his reaction. He knows he's pulled up a little early on the shot. How did that happen? It's my day. Parker Bowen must still keep striking, though. It's not over yet. Parker Bone. Well, the four previous games, Chris, they've averaged 279.25. Parker has a possible 279 this game, and it may not be enough. Learn has a potential 280. Parker's third TV this year. He's had a fifth and a third. Learn's third as well. He had two seconds. Tenth frame, Parker Bone, possible 279, trails by one, can take the lead temporarily from Learn with a strike. All this to earn the right to meet the tournament leader, Randy Peterson, for 30,000. Chris, how much of this can Bob Learn take? It's really a testimony of his physical conditioning. 42 games over five days during the week. Hometown, a lot of pressure, tickets, the whole deal. His wife told me they had more than 25 tickets they brought with him today. Then he has two players push him to the 10th frame in front of a national televised audience. Can he keep going? He must if he's going to win this game. This is a pair they'll want to travel <laughs> wherever they want to go, <laughs> like a, in a basement. Oh, boy. Woo. That's a great statement, Fart. Remember, as we see this replay of the last shot by Parker Bone, possible 279 now, that this is the pair that yielded the all-time record of 253 last year. Uh, it looks that they're going to easily break that with the championship match coming up. This match is still in doubt. Eight strikes, finishing with a 279. Well, once again, the hometown boy, Bob Warren Jr., who's bowled 300, 270, now must bowl 280 to win this game. He must strike on all three balls. All three balls must be strikes for him to continue into the championship match. Sounds like we've said that before. <laughs> <laughs> well, the record of Jim Stefanich was 8-15 for three games set in 1975 mm -hmm. in Denver. Uh, I was one of his victims in that match, I remember. Uh, has gone by the wayside. It's just about how much Learn is going to break the record. 
and will he continue on to have a possible pop at the four-game record held by David Ozio of 1070? He must strike on this ball. Firmly held by Bo Burton, 1050. These guys are too good, partner. Mm -hmm. First game where he shot a 300 and won one more ball for the perfect game, Bo. Now he needs one more for a crack yes. at the 30,000. That's right. I'll tell you, this is such a terrific performance. Uh, I remember my late father saying when a performer plant does this well that you couldn't bowl better if you walked down and stood right in front of the pins and threw it. And that's what Bob Warren looks mm -hmm. like. But he still needs this strike to win. If he gets a nine, we'll have a tie and a two-frame roll off. Here we go. in the final. A two-pin victory and now a one-pin victory after a perfect 300 game. 280, 279. This ABC Sports presentation of the Professional Bowler Store will continue after these messages and a word from our ABC station. Don't roll with the punches. Throw them. It's not whether you win or lose. It's whether you win. Eleven strikes down. Ten pins up. One ball to go. Well, Saturday at five on WBAY TV two. I'm Robin Roberts reporting from Atlanta. Coming up after bowling, it's ABC's Wide World of Sports. Today, Torval and Dean headline the ice dancing competition at the Nutrisweet World Challenge of Champions. And we'll bring you live coverage of the defining West Coast prep race leading up to the Kentucky Derby. It's the Santa Anita Derby presented by Visa. Plus, the World Weightlifting Championships from China. And we'll catch up with Olympic gold medalist Dorothy Hamill. Wide World is next at 4.30 Eastern and Pacific. Now let's go back to bowling. those numbers ladies and gentlemen wow 33 of 36 strikes for Bob Learn Jr. who is giving everyone a lesson here in his hometown of Erie and he now goes against the tournament leader Randy Peterson who is tough two right handers in the final well Chris uh, unexpected I didn't think there'd be two righties they need 349 combined to break the all-time record that was set here and Bob Learn Jr. only needs 221 to break David Ozio's record and I said all week long, no matter how good Learn bowls, I think Peterson's still the guy he has to beat. So here we go for the title. A little psyching by Peterson on the left, doing the a la bow to Bob Learn Jr. Three victories, 300, 270, 280. It's the machine Learn against the renegade Randy. Here we go. Okay. So now here is Mr. Peterson. 6'2, 165, 33 years old. He has 11 titles. Tremendous competitor. And in terrific physical shape. I mean, he really trained this year, Chris. Yes. Originally from California, now bowling out of Hollywood, Florida. He and his wife, uh, Becky, with a daughter named Savannah. Number one seeds are four and six. Randy Peterson, though, is five and one is his lifetime from the number one seed. His only loss coming in the Players' Championship last year when he left a solid eight on his final shot to lose to Ernie Schlegel, 237 to 236. So Peterson knows how to win. They go for a double. Throws his rent-a-car keys out to uh, 
Nice, <laughs> nice <laughs> catch by Petraglia. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're driving together the next tournament, but Randy's got a lot of work left to do. He's got Bob Learn Jr. in front of him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Bo, that's the first scout today. Come on. <laughs> that was an eerie, Chris. That was one of the Indians that's been that's hiding right. in the woods oh, for a while. Not in the cupboard. <laughs> Not in the cupboard. That's the adjective e eerie right yeah. there, pal. Mm. That was a weird one. That wasn't even the head pin. That looked like the five pin coming across. wonder what he had for breakfast. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> his banker doesn't uh, worry. He'll be open first thing Monday morning. in a row championship match that little Van Dyke that he's wearing <laughs> chewing that gum trying to run the table win all four games today Bob Learn Jr. can even it up with the strike now double up for Randy it's hard to believe that his first title and we were there televising at Union City California 1986 the AC Delco Great athlete has continued to get better. Just 33 years old. Look at that. One of the comedians on tour, he could actually, I think, do it professionally. Well, he's trying to work the crowd a little bit. I mean, uh, obviously they've rooted for everybody, but it's just such a landslide for Bob Warren Jr. Uh, maybe. Randy can convince some of them to uh, root for him as Lauren just says, well, how many more strikes will I throw? Look of confidence on Randy Peterson's face, though. That's a good look. A little mm -hmm. smile. Well, 30,000 of the winner, of course, and it'll also take home this symbol of victory. All in Erie, PA. Over 20 gold medalists take the ice, plus the poignant final public performance of Gordieva and Grinkov. Cotton Incorporated skates at gold three, Sunday on ABC. The Professional Bowlers Tour on ABC Sports. Brought to you by Columbia 300 Incorporated. Columbia Bowls the world over. Bud Light, official sponsor of the 1996 U.S. Olympic team. Make it a Bud Light. And Prescription Strength, Lotrimin AF for Athlete's Foot. It's the killer cure. With hometown inspiration, Bob Learn Jr. has done the incredible today, starting out with a perfect 300, a 280, and a 270, and now is in the championship match. Three in a row, fourth frame. We are tied. Oh, I have a request. Yes, sir. We have a good jazz band here. We go to Rutgers next week. And Lee Livingston, Carador Lanes, knows those people at Rutgers. On the music staff is one of the great jazz pianists named Kenny Barron at Rutgers. I hope they'll get his trio over to the arena. I'm game for it. I'm okay. game for it. Solid. Well, the all-time record for most strikes in a telecast was last year when they set the 253 average with 70 strikes. They're already up to 74, so we'll just keep counting. They're going to set records today, Chris, that uh, will last to the next century, trust me. <laughs> Two and sleeper eight. The championship pair. 
Need to get the ball right in here by the two pin and drive through into the eight. And it's going to be a tough goal for Randy Peterson because that's been an untested area today. Nobody's crossed the center of the lane. Obviously, when they're scoring that well, there's a lot of lubrication in the center. A tough shot. This is tougher than getting a strike. Hmm. First time showing a sign of concern on that wonderful face. Randy great, Peterson. Great guy. Spends a lot of time with charity. He was up mm -hmm. with me uh, just a few weeks ago in uh, Saginaw, Michigan for the neonatal center at Saginaw General Hospital. He's going to Danbury with me. He does charities all the time. Right now he's got to think of the Peterson treasury at this point. 278 possibility. He may need it all. That was useful. Shot from uh, our location, uh, the area where we see the action, and there has been nothing like what we've seen here today, especially by this five foot six inch pro. <laughs> Ten pen on the right lane. Okay, Bobby Learn keeps moving a little left each game to follow the oil as it wears down. Doesn't get quite enough angle on the pocket. The six just slides around the ten. Remember, he missed this once on an interference call, which really kept him alive. You know, it all goes back to that miss spare and where he had that interference. It's just an interesting story we've had today. Not only all the strikes. But I cannot remember a ruling on a reshot on a spare in all the years I've sat next to you, partner, and it's been the difference in the whole tournament, really. First I've seen as well. This match still up for grabs. Learn leads by 11, seventh frame. Right back in the seventh with a powerful strike. Randy Peterson with a little compensatory movement in his style. He starts quickly, then has that delay at the top to let his swing catch up to get perfect time and great leverage at the foul line. He's getting a better spin, roll, and lift than I've ever seen before. Randy Peterson had a long wait, had to see some phenomenal score shot and he opened with a four-bagger, spare strike, strike. Championship match, 30 to the winner, 15 to the runner-up. Well, he's right in this match. Sure. Yeah. Interesting how Randy even got started on the tour. He sold shares in himself for 750 bucks a piece. He figured it'd take about $30,000 to stay alive on the tour, and he's been a great investment. A man that will someday win over a million out here on tour. Trails only by one. Up to 777,000. Hey, he's giving a little decoy shot at Bob Warren, kind of taking the crowd out of it. But there's three frames left. Is there any breaking in Bob Warren? Let's see. It'll show up right here. physical a tough afternoon. There's not a PBA record left for learn to break. They've broken every record we possibly have. There is a amateur record all time set by Tom Jordan of 1198 for four games. That's two 300s and two 299s. Obviously mm -hmm. you can't break that, but whatever standard learn sets here will sit for a while. Foundation ninth strike. Open with five, a spare, and now three in a row. You know, one of the reasons that uh, Learn is bowling so well, Chris, is everybody's pushed him. He had to have all those strikes. No match yeah. was a gimme. I mean, he's winning these matches by one and two pins. Panthers, Randy's still in it, though. Possible 278. He can put the squeeze once again on Learn. Broke up the split beautifully. 
That gleaming bowling ball. Well, we've seen a lot of high trips, and what really causes that, there's a tolerance level allowed in the flat gutters. Those are the gutters next to the pins, and when they install a bowling center like this, they bring it to the highest level so the pins bounce out and across the lane a lot easier. The reason they can't do it in a bowling center is because lanes are resurfaced and uh, they'd be out of tolerance in a short period of time. But just for a telecast, we can do it. That's what causes a great pin action. Now, Peterson to take the lead 10th frame championship match. The 10 on the left wing. Yeah, this is an unbelievable crowd. Aaron Airy. They've been courteous. They've given every professional his due, Bo. Correct. Despite the fact that their hero, Bob Learn, has been out of sight today. Well, Bob Warren's going to be within one ball of something he couldn't even dream about, Chris. I mean, uh, all of us as baseball players uh, talk about the ninth inning, tied score, three strikes, mm -hmm. two balls. Bowlers, you talk about being national television. Right. He's done it all today, 300, all the records, and he's within one ball of winning the championship on top of it in front of his home crowd. So... Standing for Randy Peterson's 257, and rightfully so. To finish off the dream, here's what Bob Learn Jr. needs. He needs nine spare strike or any combination. A strike on the first ball is lockjaw. He needs 19 pin fill in the 10th. It's not by any means over, but the way he's bowled today, you can't expect anything but a good performance. Don't go over that foul line, Bobby. He's drifting around out there. Well, 100000 for the perfect game. 30 here, and Sonny's, it'll uh, probably pay for that house, though. <laughs> and even buy this pair. You're right. You know? Oh, yeah. Plus bonuses. Oh, yeah. So he has to stay behind the foul line here. I mean, uh, yeah. it's been a strange day, but... Uh, don't expect anything here. Do you? As Admiral Perry said here, many years ago we have met the enemy and they are ours. Okay, congratulations, Bob Learn. Well? Messenger 10. Okay. Give me a granny strike. Give me a strike on lane 28. Okay. Must be the ball. Columbia bowls the world over. This man averaged 282 in four games today, including a perfect 300. 300, 270, 280, 279. With his family, Stacy, Brandon, and Brittany, the spoils of victory by George and Nancy Warren, the crow chair chairpersons here. For this, was this a great event, ladies and gentlemen? I know you're worn out, but you can do better than that for Bob Learn. Bob, congratulations. Wide World, of course, coming up, and next it's the Nutra Street World Challenge of Champions. Plus, we'll have a West Coast warm-up for Churchill Downs at the Santa Anita Derby, presented by Visa. Goodbye. See you in Rutgers. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.